11-17-2020 pre-market hours before the pre-market opening bell. We have the Dow Jones futures down 282 points as of right now after touching right below Dow 30,000 in that bull run. We can see here that the uh, volatility for a pullback is in play. That is that market. When we take a look at the S&P 500 futures on a 30-minute uh, level, we can clearly see that overnight there was some profit taken in the European markets, Asian markets, as we set up for the trading day here in the U.S. Um, this is what that looks like on a 30-minute. If we take a look on a one-minute level, we can see where the bottom was put in here and retail sales numbers were a little bit lighter and whatnot. Back over here on the NASDAQ 100 futures, which are positive 18 points starting off the U.S. market trading day, is, is that we've come right up here to this point. We had Tesla that was added to the S&P 500 with really big gap up in pre-market this morning. Um, we've seen some uh, gap up in Amazon of uh, $60 based on them selling um, prescription medicines over the internet. So there is some bright spots uh, with gaps and the bull market continues its run into major resistance levels. So when we seen that the NASDAQ 100 was leading the way and closing back above 12,000, we started taking a look at what these uh, fear indicators uh, that we had updated last night on the VIX, which is up right now. We talked about the fear indicator, which is the volatility index, and it was at lows and it was testing weekly support levels. It had pulled back with the high VIX at 22.45, and the fear indicator is up to 23.5, up one dollar and five pennies, or 4.68 percent in the fear indicator. Um, one of the things that uh, we take a look at is in that big bull run to the top in the S&P here yesterday is that it's set for a gap down. Like I said, U.S. markets had overshot, and this is the uh, E-mini S&P 500 futures. Um, go ahead and sign up for the free five-day trial to start your trading day out. When we take a look at the mid-cap futures, the EMD, those are down 28 points, and the Russell 2000 had made all-time highs and had read, led the rally, excuse me, had led the rally. So as we started off here in the U.S., after making the Moderna news and the vaccine news and, and Monday Gap vaccine news and vaccine news, I hope there could be a vaccine more than anything in the world. But, you know, there's always some kind of kink or something that gets in the way or something happens and whatnot. The thing about the vaccine plays is we need the vaccines, and we do. So we have the gap down in the E-mini futures, in the S&P, and the Dow futures that will set the tone, and the NASDAQ 100 futures remain positive going into the opening bell. And the time now is 5.49 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Good luck, everyone.